Hey, this is Mr. Raiden. This is a 2022 AP Chemistry free response question number five. This is another four-point question. This comes from the May 2nd exam, May 2nd, 2022. If you want to know more information, go to mrraiden.com, and I have hundreds of resources available for a very minimal price if you're a teacher, if you're a student. Uh, there's tons of free response questions, tons of multiple choice questions, all for a lifetime access for a very low price. But let's get to this number five question. It starts off, it's a kinetics question, and the first thing that you can see right away is the rate law is rate equals K times the concentration of N2O5 to the first power, which means it is a first order reaction, which means if I did natural log of N2O5 versus time, it would be a linear slope with the slope equaling the K. Uh, you can also see why it, does, it is a first order reaction is the half-life is staying consistent. The half-life is about 1.67 hours. That's the half-life of that. And you have an equation on your equation sheet, which is half-life is equal to 0.693 over K, which means we want to try to uh, calculate the K value, which is 0.693 over the half-life. You can see 0 0.160 molar goes in a 0 0.08. 8 molar and that happens in about 1.67 hours so all you have to do is divide these and you get 0.415 I'm going to round the three significant digits because 0.693 1.67 and of course the units are hours to the negative one or per hours and that is the K that would be what the slope of the line would be equal to uh, let's go to the second part of the problem the second part of the problem says we have a proposed mechanism, okay, step one, step two, step three, and it says identify which step of the proposed mechanism is the rate determined step, justify your answer, which means we're going to have to do a claim evidence reason, okay, claim evidence reason. So let's get to this. What is your claim? Your claim is step something is the rate determining step. Okay, that's my claim. My evidence is, what is my evidence is, is that the, um, the order of the reaction is first order with respect to the N2O5. Therefore, only one mole of the N2O5 would require a large amount of activation energy to break the bonds, okay? And so you can see what is the reason behind this is the rate determining step is the slowest step and therefore takes or requires, I like the word requires, the most activation energy energy. And so that means if we're only looking for one mole, that means step one is the rate determining step. That is the slow step, which means these will be fast and will be fast. They have some intermediates and you can see we only need require one mole of the N2O5, which would mean that would be the slowest step. If step two is the slowest step, it would be one mole with respect to N2O5, one mole with respect to NO3. You could say something about that. But this claim, evidence, and reason suffices for everything. And then the last part of this question says, if the experiment was repeated at the same temperature, so same temperature, but with twice the initial concentration of N2O5, would the value of K increase, decrease, or remain the same? And again, this is an explain your reasoning question, which means we're going to have to do our claim, evidence, and reason. Okay? So my claim, what is my claim here? Is uh, the value of K would something. It's going to increase, decrease, or remain the same. What is my evidence? What is my evidence behind this? Is think about the rate law. Rate equals K times N2O5. N2O5 to the first power, which means, sorry about that, uh, which means that doubling the concentration of N2O5 will result in doubling the reaction rate. Uh, it is a first 
order reaction. Uh, therefore, it is uh, the reaction is proportional with the concentration and rate. The reason is that the K is therefore independent of the concentration changing. We know K, or the rate constant, is dependent upon the temperature. And since the temperature does not change, K will remain the same. And so that is my answer, and I'm going to fill in my claim. It would remain the same. And you can see, explain your reasoning. We got our claim. It remains the same. Our evidence of what's happening. What does concentration really affect? Does it affect the K? No, the K is the slope. The K is independent of that. There, the K is dependent upon the temperature, and that is the reason. And that is claim, evidence, reason. That's question number five. Hope that helped. Go to MrRadin.com and enjoy. Take care.